control the tech. It's gonna be a slaughter, bro. Or Gandalf the Dead. What is up, guys? And welcome to the Beyond Zammer channel. My name is Shanks. In 2D, we are playing some 2v2 games on the legendary map Anorian and BFME 1 on the page 2.22. And the first matchup is going to be Mordor and Isengard versus Rohan and Isengard. Pretty bad matchup for us because the combination of good and evil is just better, especially when the combination is involving at least one Isengard. Because remember, Mordor as a faction is generally speaking relying on the leadership bonuses you can provide your ally, but Isengard opponent has the magical weapon to do this. One button trick, the freezing rain. And also, uh, Rohan has lots of leadership to offer for his ally, pretty much a very instant leadership with a cheap hero like Theorin. And later on, you have also Aragorn. You can capture the middle camp, build statue. Well, you know. But it would be not fun if it would be easy. So it's gonna be a challenge. Maybe we can pull this off. The true carry in this situation is definitely the Isengard ally when you play Mordor. Because all you need to do, really, is to provide as much leadership as you potentially can. You know, with. Like units like Drummer Troll, you know, like Eye of Sauron, Witch King, Darkness, and maybe in the very, very late game, if we will get to this point, we can spot our ally with also Catapults. I can't fight this. I, I know, I know, I see it. I can't fight this, man. In a one on one situation, oh, my ally used the War Chant. You want to always use War Chant on more than one unit in a 2v2 match. Even if it's only Orcs, Orcs can still win and beat the Peasants in a one-on-one -on -one if they are War Chanted, because that will grant them 50% more damage in tankiness. I'm actually happy that they're attacking me, because I believe the true carry here would be Isengard. I'm happy if my ally can get through this early game. I see you. Really nothing to deal with those peasants. I also forgot to recruit um, Smeagol. That's my mistake. You know, the furnaces in the castle are too tanky. You want to always focus down the lumber mills first. Because they are weaker in terms of defense. And they're on an open field. That means they have, like, no towers protecting this. And they also give you more money than a furnace. So... Nice, so we need to wait until the war chan is off before we can commit to this fight. And we can't defend this, it's a 2v1 situation. Unless somehow my orcs hit level 2, which I doubt will happen. Ah, we need one more kill. It won't happen. But we will recapture this one, that's good. My money could not look any worse. <laughs> and I'm about to lose my remaining lumber mill too. The lumber mills are essential for the evil factions. Because in addition to the resources you gain from them, you also um, get the wood bonus, making it so you can fill up your castle way faster, right? Do You get to build stuff cheaper, again, that's economically beneficial for the evil factions. While good factions can call on, like, reinforcements, evil factions have crazy eco potential, which also is very important. Later on, you need to spam, you know, like, Witch King costs you 8,000. Now nah, it will cost you 5,000 each, you know, trolls, they are expensive. So long story short, you want to make sure that your eco is always great. Okay. So far, so good. We creep this. That's good. Get the money. And we need to get the troll kitchen now. As soon as possible. But the problem is, I'm pretty certain that we will have to deal with Samuro Hirim very soon, you know? An Isengard opponent will get so rich in this game. That's not even funny anymore. Okay. 
Um, guys, I don't know, man. My ally is very poor, you know. He needs, like, full armory. He needs upgrades. When I get industry, I will give it to my ally. Like, again, Aizen is very strong in the game, but also needs the most money. You know, you need to build a de dedicated structure to buy your upgrades. Oh, he's creeping this one. I don't think I can contest this. Nah, my Oryx will get slaughtered by the time they reach this. But it's all good, you know. As long as I can... And take this one back. As long as I can get to recruit four trolls, it's gonna be good. The problem is the push power from Rohan with the Warchan. They are coming to me. And I don't think I have enough towers, man. This gonna hurt. Does he have heal though? If he doesn't have heal, maybe we can defend this. He's taking some damage before he can deal damage to us. Need to demolish structures in time. That's very important. Okay, oh, he healed even. Oh man, this is so annoying. <laughs> This is annoying, you know? That's why you need to build towers before you need them. When you need them, it's gonna be too late. We have like 25 seconds uh, build time, which is, but it's kinda a lot when there are units inside your castle dealing damage to you. It troll, man. I mean, losing the slaughterhouses will hurt me now, but even more so later on, because it will take much more time to get them to level two. Oh man, now he has even Warchant plus Theorine. Do you have a troll now? Do you have a troll? Always aim the Rohirrim first. Um, unless you have upgrades and you want to aim the heroes. Basically, you want to aim the thing that you can kill first. Can I slow him down? Come on, move, move. Ah. Okay. I mean, with the troll, we will at least be able to defend ourselves against the Rohirrim. That's good. But this push will... Oh boy, they are already coming to me? I told you boys, you know, this game is pretty much over. How can we defend this? Like, I'm far away from Drama Troll, my ally is kind of economically pretty behind too. And they have upgrades plus theory leadership. My ally is a Uruk Pit level 2, that's good. We need <laughs> we need three more trolls to get to Troll Gish level 2, you know. This a lot. But never give up, never surrender. There is always hope the baggins you see that's what i mean like rohan can provide so easily leadership to isengard with the theorine which is pretty much as almost as strong as warchant is but he's permanent the only good thing is i think the warchant is strong cooldown Guys, wish me luck, boys. Wish me luck. I will need it this game. Even some peasants coming from this location. The only hope is that I can get like a couple of good hits off with the Tainted Land, you know? That's my only hope. Demolish structures in time. Uh, they are feeding lots of power points, those sentry towers. Always demolish in time. We have industry now. I'm gonna use it on my ally. My ally needs as much money as he potentially can get. Now he has two furnaces buffed up with industry. That's pretty decent. That's gonna be quite helpful, I guess. So I need to scare him off a little bit, you know. Um, yeah. I mean, in a dream world, he won't attack me until we are ready to fight. The problem is, he will get skilling, right? He will be the first one who will get recruit. He will get to recruit Lourdes, and obviously, Saruman later on. Rohan will get stronger by making more Rohirrim, recruiting Aragorn eventually, capturing the middle camp. Okay. Oh, now three combos. Against two trolls without drama troll. Three trolls. Need one more mountain troll to get to reach the troll cage level two. Orc pit getting slaughtered. But I think it's okay. Maybe it's time to stop making orcs now. Because my orcs can never reach the opposite side of the map. They will get trampled all the time by the Rohirrim. Oh, lazy, not demolishing it. Ah, okay. I mean, they will just peel. Now we lost the war chant. But it's okay. At least Troll Cage is level 2. And Isengard will not deal any more economical damage to us, you know? He has four combos, man. Four combos. Plus theory leadership. Plus war chant. If Eye of Sauron, war chant is on cooldown. 
the duration is almost gone, but we will have Drummer. So I will also be able to provide 100% more damage and 50% more armor. So pretty much the same situation, because Theorin in Warchant almost does the same thing, only you get more armor out of that. And believe it or not, armor is more important in an all-out fight than damage is. I mean, he's annoying, but he's playing it smart, you know? Like, against Mordor, you don't want to fully commit, because if you do fully commit and you lose your army, we have the chance to push and end the game, because trolls can break even through the walls. So we can literally crush even Rohan, you know? We need Lourdes to cripple this theory. That's the most important thing. And we need also more army. We need constantly more army. Like, when you play this matchup with Isengard, what you want to do is you want to make two armies. You want to put, like, one or two combos in the castle of your ally. You want to put one or two combos in your own castle before Drama Troll each army, you know. And then you want to make a main army that can push. Because what will happen is they will attack you simultaneously. This Isengard, look, he has two armies. He has one in the middle and one attacking the Isen. So when we rotate with our army and our only army to one castle to defend, he can rotate with his secondary army to the other castle. And he can play this game all, all day long until we get our own two armies. I mean, I'm not blaming my ally here because he has not the same eco like the enemy Isengard does, right? I, enemy Isengard is a, a Rohan is ally who has untouched economy, probably level three Lambrimils, super rich. Okay. I want to really commit with the trolls, but my trolls are the only thing that can keep... Oh-oh. Okay, they can use land here. That's gonna, that's gonna hurt, my friend. Boom, chakalaka. Smash. Hulk, smash. Boom, chakalaka. Boom, chakalaka. Boom, 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 chakalaka. This is no rubble of mind, this orcs. Kill Theodin! Kill Theodin! One-shot him. Oh-oh, okay. I don't want to commit to the middle camp. Isengard from opponent kind of covered this land. Okay? I don't want to fight to the, in the middle. Oh, there is the Elvin Hood. Oh boy, the trample. It's so painful. And also this land is from them. I want to use my trolls to defend. I don't want to commit. I have only two trolls remaining. Troll cage level 3, that's good. And now the production speed is going to be like crazy. We want to build a little bit and keep fighting now from behind. Mm, you know, always fight in a... Like, there is no point in fighting in the middle, right? There is always point to fight when it's needed. And in the needed fight is, of course, in your own castle. They've also increased the amount of leadership on the enemy... Uh, on the Elven Wood, you know? Elven Wood grants you also additional armor, which is very powerful. But overall, I need to say, I'm very disappointed in myself. I'm very poor. I would love to recruit Pitch King, but I need to keep making more and more trolls. Because if I don't, if I leave my castle undefended, Rohan can just come in and all you can eat, you know what I mean? All you can eat buffet. So I want to have five trolls, okay? The more trolls you have, the more chances you get to have like a great slam. Like the one attack with their trees in their hands, the one potential attack that can slaughter when they are clumped, the enemy army is clumped, you can slaughter like a lot. But you see, that's what I'm trying to say. They're attacking me. I know, man. I see it. They're attacking me and the eyes at the same time. So we need to kind of... I want to go to the middle camp. Genuinely speaking. Okay. I think we can commit to this. I'm not sure though. They have statue and everything, but they have their leadership, their theory leadership around uh, my base. So let's go. I would love to have Scavenger here, maybe, you know, but I want to get through the darkness as soon as possible, actually. Oh, but they are committing to me now. I mean, maybe it was not the best call to defend, uh, to attack the middle camp. I'm going ham. My trolls actually didn't do as much because they are, there are too many wells. They have like three, four statues and wells. What the heck? Okay. We defended our, ourselves a little bit. I'm not demolishing structures in time though because I'm so lazy and so bad in this game. 
Okay, war chance. I. Oh, he stole it. Kill Saruman, 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 Saruman. Oh, he stole it. They are the stolen army is now killing my drummer trolls. Oh boy, this is so bad. All my drums are gone. If also Aragorn leadership there, oh, it's my call though. I shouldn't commit to the middle camp, man. I should not commit to the middle camp, man. Back, back off, back off. Killed, attack, stupid troll attack already. Whose rain is this? I think it's enemy rain because the enemy units are still glowing. Our glow is gone. Beal, go back. And my drum is so low. Drama troll and Rohirrim are slaughtering what's remaining for Lord and Land. Okay, I mean, dude, it's my bad, you know. It's actually my bad. Maybe we should just commit to the Isengard Castle instead. You know, I, I, not maybe, definitely. We should have committed to Isengard Castle because even if we take the middle camp, Rohan won't be defeated. But if he could destroy the Isengard camp. The thing is, even if I get defeated during the time, but if we, if we go one for one, if Isengard get defeated and I get defeated, it's gonna be a 1v1 between me, between my ally and my opponent, and Isengard can win this. I mean, the rain is still active. I don't think we can defend this, boys. Even, even Legolas. Fight, 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 fight. Keep fighting. Also, towers are dealing constant damage. But they are leveling up like crazy. The rain is negating. I want to get actually Witch King, but I'm, I'm so poor. Even if industry will help, will not help me kill heroes. Elendi Link. <laughs> Even if it's a word, you know, Elendi Link. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know, man. Now the Rohirrim are coming for the charge. I want to use Roar, but they won't get affected. What a charge in. No pikemen. Oh boy. I mean... Well played by them, you know? Well played by them. I mean, it's a favorable matchup for them, but it doesn't mean it's unwinnable for us. We could have played this way better. I could have played this way better. No blame on my ally. It's my it's my fault. My the, the call from me to go to the middle camp was definitely like a game losing moment. But in those situations, I find myself to be extremely impatient, and that's wrong. You know, you don't want to be impatient. It's all about passion. Wait, 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 wait. You know, until my ally gets like two, three armies, and then we can do the same thing, because we have to be the third. Oh, he's selling all his units. <laughs> we have to be the turtle in this situation, you know. We need to be defending ourselves. Yeah, now they are coming to me. It's it's GG, man. I I can't. And here's even glorious charge too. Oh man. What can men do, guys? What can men do against such reckless hate? Nothing. Attack. My trolls, you know, I hate trolls from the bottom of my heart. They are so incredibly low iq creatures they don't want to listen man they don't want to listen to me go trolls go 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 hit them hit them once 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 one hit one hit one hit don't trample hit them hit them hit them okay we are defending don't ask me how don't ask me why but they have now also even darkness do it more leadership only leadership missing is now the witch king and it's gonna be like this oh Saruman kill 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 again the same scenario like before he's gonna steal them and now kill him 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 Atelas doesn't heal him Atelas doesn't heal him kill 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 he got crippled I think yeah nice okay now kill the remaining army we can we can we can keep fighting keep fighting keep fighting war chant yeah let's go let's go let's go that's crazy just keep fighting don't lose lords 
Notice his death, but it's fine, it's fine. We can still win this. We can still win this, okay? Aragorn, Theodine, kill heroes. Dude, heroes are so weak against this leadership, you know? When you, even if it's Aragorn with Anduri sword, it doesn't matter. I lost my troll cage. I lost my troll cage. And now they are coming to the Isengard ally. I know, man, I saw, I saw. <laughs> oh, I'm building an orc pit. No, I don't want this. Uh, dude, my fingers are... <laughs> Shh. Troll cage, okay. I actually want to go for the Witch King, but even if I don't go for the Troll Cage, I will not even have anywhere close to five, um, six, seven thousand. And as Ghoul would be a big, big mistake. Doesn't really do much against this firepower, but Witch King can provide leadership. I think we can hold it until the next freezing rain from our opponent, but then what, you know? But then what? And I think he used rain way before my ally, so he's gonna have it way sooner too. I have only two drummer trolls. Remember, I lost my troll kit, so I need to again recruit four trolls and before I can recruit any additional drums, you know. Even Rohan has now combos. I know I'm not doing much, dude. I can't. I can't. What can I do? What? I have nothing, bro. I have nothing. Like, I have nothing. That's the problem. I have not much, you know. Maybe I should go for a Nazgul and then defend against those who hit him, but I don't know, man. I, I low-key think that I should have gone for the Scavenger. It's more selfish because I've been using... I, I think I only use one single industry on myself. But Scavenger would bring me more money because I was able to get some beautiful slams, you know? This is a big army, dude. What is this army? Like five Isengard combos, three Rohan combos? What is this army? I think he has rain. He needs to. Yeah, I know he has rain, man. And it used land there, to, so they need lose their leadership bonuses. Yeah. He can't do it. He can't. Yeah, but we have no leadership, you know. Well played by them, though. I mean, it was a suffer game, guys. I'm not gonna lie, dude. It. it was a suffer game and a half, man. Holy. It felt like I'm at the Black Gate, but the army from enemy is just like 10 times stronger and I can't. Frodo dropped the ring already into the mountain, Frodo. Frodo. Fro <laughs> okay, I'm gonna stop it. I'm gonna stop. I'm losing my mind. The glorious charge. What is this, man? What is this? That's what Saruman meant when he was asking Theodin to make peace. Can we not make peace, you and I? GG, well played. I hope you guys still enjoyed this, but I will get them in the next game, I promise. Game number two. The same map, the same team. And the matchup this time is going to be... Okay, we are Gondor, Isengard against Gondor Mordor. That's a good matchup. That's a good matchup. I am playing Gondor, and my, op my ally is playing Isengard. Dude, I like to play Gondor when my ally is Isengard because my horses with Warchant are hitting like a truck. And also the push you have, like the very first push with the two soldiers and, um, say it. The very first push with the two soldiers and the Warchant hits Uruk. So you Warchant all together. It's so strong. Like we have heal, soldiers are stronger than peasants and you, in addition to that, have the heal ability, which is extremely powerful. Okay. Let's do this, boys. And dude, I like I like the Fumi one so much, you know? The team synergy you have, especially with the evil good combination, is so good. It's so good. I like the evil good combination the most. I also like when you combine Gondor and Rohan and Mordor and Isengard. But I believe, like, combining, I don't know, like, Rohan and Isen, Mordor and Gondor, for example, is so nice too, you know? Imagine if Knights of Gondor... With heavy armor, forge blades, night shields, and banner. Plus, we have Eye of Sauron, Witch King leadership, and Darkness leadership. Dude, can you imagine how tanky your horse is going to be? Structure. Always structural damage first. I mean, the thing is, we can fight those orcs too. We can even use one of our soldiers to fight them. Because our second um, 
the the question is when do you take the fights and when do you ignore the fight and go for the structure the answer is you want to take the fights and you know you want to you will win them i'm gonna buy this will he try to snipe it he's trying to snipe it i need to cancel it otherwise i will be losing 200 resources you know i want to build one more blacksmith for the eco advantage the hobbit is making a difference there i want to go for the slaughterhouse here i can use heal i think i'm gonna use it use it now i'm still losing this go for the slaughterhouse and mordor is rebuilding the slaughterhouse here but there is nothing i can do about that i want to go for them um for the stable the thing is i think we dealt good amount of economical damage and i also believe that they didn't notice okay i'm gonna send a bit there get some workers i think we dealt good amount of economical damage to mordor and also they didn't notice my soldiers smashing the inner slaughterhouse it's actually good for me beautiful beautiful okay let's go for the knights of gondor i'm so poor actually i don't know why i'm, I'm so poor look we are killing workers this is so much that, that's super underrated by the way you don't understand how look them them running away with the workers trying to save them means this lumber mill is producing little to zero resources like lumber mills are very unique to its for, for you know as a, as a resource building because they ha they rely on the lumber mill workers they don't produce passive income like furnace slaughterhouse farms or blacksmiths do you need workers and if you kill them or if you even make them run for their lives your opponent will lose eventual big eventual income or even a level two one holy moly okay okay this is going to be fun Dude, this is the early power, you know? This is the early power. Beat them all. Level 2 soldier. And we're also getting power points from this situation. That's pretty decent. Boom, boom. Trample, trample, trample. Nice. -o. Nice. -o. Now, we have a couple of options here. Right? We, we will lose this fight, but still. I'm gonna cloak that. We have a couple of options here. Oh. I can go for the upgrades and try to rush the bees. You know, with the war and stuff. I will be very strong. Right? I can also try to make heroes like Boromir and stuff. Because the only weakness of the Gondor Isengard team is the lack of additional damage leadership. So you need Lourdes or Boro or ideally both. Because Warchan is the only leadership you will have, which is simply... I can win this. Which is simply not enough, you know. I can still win this. I, I don't need to fight on the land. Warchan is simply not enough to burst down the trolls fast enough. So I want to get Boromir... It's more like a late game play style but i always like to start with horses in every single situation horses are just so good you know and you need to have some units oh, oh be careful there my friend i also Auron doesn't stand a chance against fortune fortune is much stronger than i am much stronger the combat experience doesn't really do much in those one v one situations but the, the armor leadership you get that's what really matters this hobbit won't be surviving this I know what you did. I have seen what you did. Very green took you full of took. I can't cloak my hobbit there because I am still going on. You know, I would like to cloak and deny murder to. I would like to do this, but you know the problem is. Oh, oh be careful there! Come on, I be gone already. Eye of Sauron. Ah man, I will reveal my hobbit. So there is no need, no need to. Um. Wait. Ah. There is no need to cloak him. I want to go for um, Faramir first and then go for the full beast. I saw the troll cage. I have no upgrades to rush the beast, man. I went for Boro. Maybe it's a mistake. But I like better, le better safe than sorry. La later on, I would be regretting that I don't have Boromir. He will be almost level 4. Like one creep of work is not enough to get him fully to level 4. He's going to miss a little bit experience but it's like killing one or two orc warriors you know and remember bottom is also one of the few heroes that can actually level uh, like 1v1 trolls like you can knock them down it means boro is like i don't know like lords can't do what boro can do with level one for example you can do it with carnage of course but boro could level one 
Creep Troller for the price of less than 2000. That's the main differential here. And my ally was also uh, Lords almost level 4, that's good. Now we have even Faramir, that's amazing, amazing. The amazing part of Boromir is not even his leadership, but his fear, okay? I will show you guys hopefully in this game how powerful this fear can be. Maybe you will also start spamming games with recruiting Boromir. Boromir is the one unit slash hero that got the most love in... Um, Hold on, hold on. Watch this. Watch, watch what I'm gonna do. Watch what I'm gonna do, guys. Watch this. Watch this. Get the money first. I took the pa two parts. And you are not moving anywhere, Knights of Condor. You are so lucky that I need to keep attacking this troll with my Boromir. Otherwise, I would be able to kill so much. But again, look, Lourdes and Faramir keep permanent dealing damage to these knights. They can't move. And we can deal so much damage and get so many power points from that, you know? Okay, Boromir is almost level 6. That's magnificent. Boromir... The favorite son of Denedor is also becoming my favorite hero. But you know who is even more of, uh, of my, you know, who is my true favorite hero? It's not Faramir. It's unfortunately not even Boromir. And it's definitely not Pippin. <laughs> and there is only one remaining hero, you know, we can be talking about. And of course, it's Smeagol. No, it's not. <laughs> it's not. Okay. And that's the plan. I will be rushing him. I will be rushing. Nice. This game, unlike the first game we played, we are controlling this game. Like crazy. But we need to recapture this. So basically Mordor is getting strong. I'm aware of that. But also we are getting strong. Now we are talking about a situation in which we have border leadership, which means constantly 60% damage. With Warchan together that's 110. And I think Lourdes is also either level 5 or very close to be level 5. That's going to be another 60%. So now we are maximizing our damage leadership, which is the most important leadership against Mordor. Because trolls, they don't care about your armor leadership. If they make it to you, they will smash you. That's certain. That will happen. This will happen, boys. Trust me on that one. Dude, I'm so strong now. Holy moly. I'm so strong. Dude, I like to be strong. I really do like to be strong. Look this Boromir, you know? Look this Boromir. <laughs> you look at the last Boromir. You, where are you going, bro? Where are you going, little bro? Where are you going, little bro? Level 6 unlocked. One more level. One more level and even more leadership. Dude, Boromir, dude. I love him so much. I, I'm not going for a, for a great company, by the way. Don't be fooled. Look my money. You know, you know exactly what I'm going for. You know exactly who I'm recruiting very, very soon. It's time. It's time to call the Exodia of Middle-earth. <laughs> I love him so much. My favorite hero. But it's so hard to get him to level like 10. You know, it will take you ages. You need to micro him a lot. And he's very squishy. Like, there is not enough room for the mistakes. If you make a mistake, you are doomed. You are doomed. Nice, my ally is even um my ally is even some pikemen for defending my farms. It's what I like to see. And Mifrandia. The white rider. But we have to watch wizard. That has to be good for something. Let's go, boys. Fly shit of eggs. Okay, so we, have, we are offering two leaderships for my ally. Ganav gives you combat experience and armor. But here, the most important leadership, like mentioned multiple times, is Boromir. Okay, this is the leadership which matters. 
Boromir doesn't only give you leadership, but also has the chance to knock down some of the trolls, right? That's that's the, that's the best part about him, actually. And we can kind of keep a troll checked and uh, reduce the firepower and the threatening of Mordor. And Boromir wasn't right. One does simply walk into Mordor, after all, you know? While you are pushing, you want to keep focusing on economical damage, interaction and multitasking. This is what matters in this game. And keeping your units alive so they can get higher levels at some point. You have land? Yes. What is my opponent actually? Be careful, don't die, banner. Dude, without blades, I'm not getting damage. <laughs> without blades, I'm not getting damage at all. Let's group this together and we can war chant together. And here the plan is to crush economical buildings from my opponent. It's lagging. Okay. Let's do this. Okay. You want to come? Trolls? Big war chant? I'm going to cover this immediately. Immediately. Look, he made a big mistake with the trolls. The thing is about trolls, because they are not very intelligent creatures, when they die, they sometimes stand around and they knock other trolls down. And now they are fighting on my land, which means they have no leadership either. Land is affecting trolls as much as it does affect every other unit in the game. And maybe it would be a smarter move to not use the land at all. Because then you have at least leadership. And that's it, boys. GG well played. And that's it. That's it. As easy as that. The damage leadership, the armor leadership, war chant, and army of Isengard with the combination of army of Gondor. The two wizards united in one army. Saruman, the great traitor of Middle-earth and, you know, the best of the best, Gandalf. What can men do against such reckless seat? Trebuchet don't help. This Gondor should have gone for the combos. <laughs> This Gondor should have gone for the combos. Destroy them. What a game, boys. What a game. Hey, GG. Beautiful, guys. GG. Well played. I hope you enjoyed this. If you know, if you did, you know what to do, right? You want to smash that like button. And game number three, the score is 1-1. We need to get the tiebreaker, the final game. And I will get to play Isengard. And it's going to be Isengard Gondor, Isengard Gondor. So this, there is no more excuses, okay? You play a mirror match, no more excuses. You have Isengard, I have Isengard. Actually not. We are, we are Never mind, I'm blind. We are double Isen against double Gondor. Okay, two Isengards. Versus two Gondors. Dude, it's like classic, you know? It's like Isengard against Gondor, but in a 2v2 situation. Believe it or not, I believe these two factions are the best in duo. Like, I'm telling you, double Isengard is extremely powerful and very strong. But maybe not necessarily in this matchup against double Gondor. But against like Mordor, for example, or even Rohan, they are very strong. Because keep in mind that you have now the chance to have everything twice. You can have two Lurts, you can have two Sarmans, yeah, Furnace, it's fine. Uh, you can have two Freezing Rains, and you can have not two Warchan simultaneously, but you can use Warchan, the second duration is gone. You can use another Warchan, you can keep your army buffed for a way longer duration. So long story short, it's amazing. But the problem is, early game, you know, double Gondor have double land, which is also kind of annoying to play against. Later on, they have the chance to get two Gandalfs. Nightmare to play against. But luckily, we are the best faction to play against that. Because we have two Lurts to keep those two Gandalfs checked. They can't move. And a wizard, as powerful as he might be, is not threatening at all if he doesn't move. I'm going to repair this. Like, this many workers will repair this like crazy, actually. Repair it.
Repair them all. Okay, I mean, we can't hold this for a long time, but actually we delete the distraction of it. It's already very good, you know? And my ally is kind of struggling, but it's okay. He will get to recruit. Like, the team synergy is very important. You don't need to buff make pikemen, you know? It's actually not good if you make buff pikemen. One player has to invest some resources into the late game. And late game is only possible if you get early lords. Lords, level 1 is not very good. Level 3 is amazing, but level 5 is where he truly shines. He was able to cloak his orbit there, you know. Um, but it's okay. Oh, my Lourdes is able to reveal him, no problem. I'm kind of poor though. Build it. I want to destroy it. Build it. Attack. Oh, no, it's building instantly. It's building instantly. Okay. I don't like this man. I don't like this man. I don't like this. Well, we have Lourdes very soon. After Lourdes, I want to go for the Vork Riders, okay? I want to fill up the beast first and then go for the Vorks. Vork Riders! <laughs> it's one more, like two more furnaces, and the last spot is going to be safe for the Vork Pit. I want to get good eco. It's going to be free experience for my Lourdes. A Lourdes level 3 can beat every early game hero. Like Loki, you have not even close. Like Faramir doesn't see any chance. Boromir can't knock you down because Carnage grants you resistances to knock back. So Boromir, just like in the films, being countered by Lourdes. Lourdes is his biggest nemesis, you know, the biggest enemy. You can't put him on the ground when he's using Carnage. And Theoden, Elma, and Elvin, come on now. Come on now. What can they do, you know? For that reason, your early goal and your uh, main mission is to destroy, um, get, I mean, not destroy, get him to level 3 as soon as possible. Without level 3, stepping up doesn't make too much sense because you will not be able to achieve too much. But level 3, you can play a bit more carelessly. Beautiful. Okay. So now going for the, for the thingy. My eco is looking not too shabby. Not too bad at all. I don't know about this one. Berserker. Does he have Boromir there creeping? I'm not sure. I'm actually taking so much time to destroy this Vogue layer Because layers are tankier against arrows. But I can't commit before I'm level 3. Or Boro will get... I mean, this Berserker can do nothing about against Boromir. It takes so much time actually to creep. Holy moly. I want to... <laughs> But, you know, imagine if he would be able to creep fast, you know. I mean, for me personally, Lourdes is still and will always be the most cost-efficient hero in this game. And the main reason, because that's, that is how it is, is because... Um, hold on. It's because Eisinger has only two heroes. Like, they need to be popping off, you know. Like, imagine uh, Mordor has four heroes, including Golem, of course. Uh, Gondor has, what, four heroes. Mordor has uh, i mean uh, rohan is like i don't know like seven heroes and you have only two heroes with Isinger. they need to be popping off they need to be now it's the different damage output when you use carnage carnage is basically the highest damage increasement you get it doesn't mean that lord is the strongest hero no he will lose against aragon even with carnage because aragon has more armor capabilities which lord doesn't lord is like a glass cannon unit ditching out a lot of damage during the carnage but he's not able to take too much damage because Carnage only gives him a slight amount of armor, um, armor buff. While Aragorn, for example, with Blade Master, you get 50% armor. With Anduril, you get 50% armor. So even though Aragorn out, it looks like Aragorn out damaging Lords, but trust me, Lords can take down heroes way faster than Aragorn. Way faster. Like you can two shot Faramir with Carnage, you can three shot Boromir with Carnage, you know? That's all you need to do, my friend. Spam pikes. Look, Lord's being annoying now. 
We need to we need to hit him like three times, I believe, because he's using the wedge formation. And then you kill him. We get like we need one more level. Oh, Petri, Petri, Peregrine, tuk, 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 tuk. Don't send Berserkers like this, they will fit a lot of power points. We're going, going to get always a uh, first armory. I'm not like threatened. And going for the Vorgs against upgraded horses would not be a big, uh, you know, big brain idea. Always go for the upgrades first if you are in a good spot. I can cripple him. I will cripple him, but I don't think I can commit to this. I'm low key, not sure. Because there is a Farami, he will use warning arrow me. It's gonna chunk me. And even if I kill him, I don't want to trade one for one. You know, I don't want to kill Bor Farah and then eventually lose my loot. Because, well, oh, uh, knights, oh, uh, there is a hobbit. I know, I know, there is a hobbit. Kill him, man. <laughs> don't be scared of Peregrine. Took. What can he do? I'm coming, though. I'm coming. I will. We're gonna. It looks like meat's back on the menu, boys, you know? I wanna get Fyros first, too. I, look, I, from I'm a person, you can skip the fire arrows and demolish your structure and then build it again later on if you need it. But I don't want to do this, you know? And cut the spam. Cut them, dude. Yeah, cut us. But I have a big surprise for you. I have war cry that is coming very soon. Cut me all you want. But they don't know. Like, sometimes it's better to not reveal your secrets, you know? To not show them what is about to come. That's also very important sometimes. Demolish it now. Now, this guy has no pikemen, right? He has no pikemen. He has, not, he has not even upgrades on his combos, dude. Like, imagine what I'm gonna do to them. My ally is pikemen protecting me. That's the synergy. One is defending, the other one is conquering. But now he has heavy armor, but two combos, dude. What, what, what is this? Hole plus war chant? He has not even armor leadership from Faramir. This gotta be a slaughter, bro. And I believe even now Borrow me uh, Lurz leadership. Watch this. I will kill Faramir. That's gonna make you level 5. And now my units have even more leadership. Now it's over. Now it's over. Just, just keep trampling all the time. Because they have no pikemen. When they have no pikemen, you wanna keep trampling. Oh, I didn't pay attention to my base actually. It was dealing good amount of damage. But Boro, you gained, you ain't going anywhere, my friend. You are dead. Just like in the films. Die, you fool. One does not simply walk into the middle camp of Valorian. You see, he di didn't expect my wargs. And that's what happened. Guys, hole plus warchant, and during the fight, my lords got level 5 against non pikemen army? You can't. You just can't. It's over. Getting the full map control. Dude, now, now we can go for the middle camp and start sieging. Isengard is the best sieger in the game. It's just low key defect. Like, you have explosive mines, you have like every kind of siege weapon. But your siege weapon, you have one of them from level 2 siege works that can blow up every single wall until they get stonework upgrade with one single shot. And you don't even break one part of the wall, you break multiple parts of the wall with the explosive mine. Also, guys, if you don't know, Explosive mine dealing magic damage. It means it's able to heavily damage and crazily hurt even creatures like the ancient demon Balrog. Like I'm telling you, sometimes I, I wish I could have started my YouTube channel like many many years ago when I first started playing BFME. This channel would have like more than 5,000 videos by now. We have played crazy games back in the day when the game was active, and a lot of crazy shenanigans popped off. You know. There are, there are so many people, guys. Holy guys. Oh my god. I miss the old golden era of the game. And we are trying our best to bring the era back with new era, new generation of people. But it's, you know, we have by far, unfortunately, not as many online players as we used to have in the past. I can use Warchan here if I want to. But he has shields. And with shields, he just beats me. With shields, he just beats me, dude. It is how it is. I'm going for Saruman very soon. Like earlier it was so much. Uh, every day, at any time of during the day, you could just come home from the school and you could play game. The game, you know, you could play with me. But guys, we have a lot of big surprises for you. 
and just you know be patient i don't want to spoil too much we have a lot of surprises for you for the for 2024 okay we are working on big things i don't want to name them just be patient because 2024 is a very special year and i can hear you asking why it's because 20 year anniversary of battle for middle of one it's gonna happen during the in in the next year next year give me will have its birthday it's gonna turn 20 and for the 20 year anniversary we have big plans i don't want to spoil it just be patient and always check discord and also youtube channel for more infos if you ever love BFME, you will be happy about the news that is gonna come very soon. Just be patient. Ooh, my works are actually so strong, man. Holy moly. <laughs> I have now Saruman, the white wizard. Dude, Saruman is so good actually for its price. We nerfed him multiple times, actually, you know, now he costs you more money. Um, the fireball has longer cooldown. Uh, so he, he got nerfed a couple of times. But still, you know. The fireball is so good. Like amazing. Like against combos or slow units, even against heroes, it deals hella damage. And unlike the Easter Light from Gandalf, it kind of deals a large amount of splash damage. So it's able to hit multiple targets. And it's magic damage. Magic damage basically the strongest damage type in the game, which has no counter. What is this Gandalf doing? <laughs> Gandalf the Grey. Gandalf the Grey or Gandalf the Dead. You ain't moving nowhere. Nowhere. Oh man, it's so funny to see Gandalf the Grey. Doesn't deal damage to me. Doesn't deal damage to me. There is a true white wizard now. You can heal all you want, Brate. Doesn't really do anything. Die now. Heal him. No, he didn't heal him. Okay, my ally got the last one with the loot. It's even better. Almost level 5 too. And we are so rich. Now it's all about sieging, boys. It's all about sieging. And this guy is like... You know, we are scouting a little bit with the lumber mills. That's good. Lumber mill workers, I mean. I'm going for the siege works. It's time to knock the door. Like, I'm going that far. If I lose this game somehow, and we are in a, such an amazing spot, if we lose this game, I will make a 24-hour stream on my Twitch channel. And by the way, guys, if you made it this far into this um, video, which is the game number three, first of all, thank you very much for, you know, staying this long and watching the games. And second thing is, we have a big 1v1 tournament very soon. And this 1v1 tournament is going to take its place during the last month of the year, December 2023. It's going to be like a Christmas event. And we have now a crazy strong player pool, like the best 1v1 players of the game fighting against each other. And I will be streaming during the winter months, December and January and February, a lot on my Twitch channel. So if you haven't already done it, it's time to just check out the link in the description down below and follow me there. And I would love to, guys, really, I would love to meet you all in my next live streams, okay? It's the best way to get to know each other a little bit more. Because this video is like, I can't directly interact with you guys. <laughs> Hold on, I will save my Lambert Mill workers. But on Twitch, it's, I can talk to you, you can talk to me back, you know, it's more fun. Uh oh, okay, trampled. Look, this guy's trying to kill my worker, man. Leave him alone, man, he has family, dude. Stop it! I will save him, no matter what. He won't die. My worker, I ain't dying today. If I am. But he has also catapults. Now, Gondor, Gondor's incredible strength lies in camping. Gondor is a crazy strong camping faction with very strong walls and also extremely strong siege weapons. But remember what I said like a couple of minutes ago. Isengard, the best sieger of the game. The best sieger. Now, unfortunately, we have reached a stage of the game in which Rams not gonna do the trick anymore. Rams not gonna be very good because they will get slaughtered by the trebuchet and their melee siege weapons. But we have we can change always to non-melee siege weapons, you know. Yeah, I mean, okay, we need Balista. 
We need Ballista. Ballista, Ballista. Okay. Dude, I, like, I'm recently watching the World Championship of League of Legends, guys, right? There is a big event going on. It's happening every year, MSI tournament and World Championship tournament. Like, there is so much hype about this in League of Legends. It's also not being around for a long time. And every time I watch this, I enjoy League of Legends to watch and play sometimes. But I also, at the same time, kind of keep getting more angry about EA games. Whatever they did, what, what they did to our game, you know? abandoning the game and then no camp company really stepped up to make a really official bfme 3 and me i mean official bfme 3 not like a scam project like bfme reforged um and it's been 20 years bro it's time man do it i know rts genre is not very pop popular nowadays but there are still so many people who want to play this game you know imagine Imagine if BFME 1 would be that popular, you know? World Championship on a big stage. I am commentating, you know what I mean? Dude! Dude, that would be so funny, you know? Holy mo- I would do it for free. I wouldn't want to get payment for it. Like, I would just do it for the vibes. And for the- for the- You ain't touching my siege weapons, bro. What you doing, man? Stop it. Cancel, cancel. Okay. I want to go for the other castle at the same time. Make two parts broken. I like the, I like it when the game slows down like this because then we can talk about other subjects too. You know, <laughs> it's not too intense. Now we are sieging, breaking parts of the walls, and turning the Gondor Castle into a potential Mordor or Isengard Castle. Like this. Uh, steal them, steal them. Last. Oh, there is a Gandalf. What is Gandalf doing? Okay, just cancel in the last possible second. We have one more Ballista only. But my plan is to do something else. I'm, I'm gonna watch what I'm gonna do, guys. Watch what I'm gonna do. But this trebuchet are actually very annoying, you know. Against immobile units like um, our combos from my ally. Oh, I can't get to this trebuchet. This army, can, this units can kill my trebuchet. They have no leadership and they are only attacking with fire arrows. <laughs> I mean, they can't kill my barista, not trebuchet. Okay, it's time. Let's go. I'm going for this castle, boy. You handle handle the red condor. I will handle the other condor. Okay. Oh, but my ally, I don't know about this one, man. There's so many trebuchet actually inside. <laughs> I, I don't know if this guy has also many trebuchet. We shall see. We shall see. But I have warrigs, which are countering trebuchet. I can trample this, I believe. I have too much leadership at this point. I Actually, maybe not. Um, okay, look at this, guys. Look at the campers. Do you see the campers or not? Look at these campers. Putting the trebuchet in between the structures. Dude, you are getting up to great. That ain't hurting me. You are not giving damage to me, bro. We are not dealing them. Look at them. Okay, my ally doesn't want to keep committing. Destroy this catapult, please. Okay, he's coming now to the other Gondor. It's fine, though. Like, look. You see the camping situation? These guys. You can blast me, but it doesn't hurt me, bro. They have both the <laughs> best without blast in the universe. <laughs> okay. Okay. Dude, sometimes I love this game, but I'm but I'm winning. When I'm winning, I love this game, and I'm losing. I still love this game, but there is a part of me that wants to go to the programs, uninstall the game. I want to fireball you so badly. I want to fireball you so badly. Take you. I wanted to take them, but I think my blast. I'm gonna steal them. Fight for me. I missed. Seriously. Okay, I was making fun of his Visa Plus, but my Wong Tong ability was not any better, dude. Explosive mine is coming in clutch in turbies. Knock, knock. Where was Gondor when Gondor fell? <laughs> uh oh. I wish I had my ability now, you know, my uh, Wong Tong. I could have stolen them all. 
bring the explosive mine. Look at this catapults. Look, they are putting them around the wall, guys. This guy think he can camp out this game, but that ain't happening, bro. You are not rich. You are poor, actually, in this game, you know? And your allies repeat it in a bit. It's time. Look my army now. I have the war riders. Imagine I, we had Sharku here. Boom, boom. War chant, and they are zooming now with the Palantia. Like again, only go for the structures. I mean, they have a lot of traps, but they have no protection for the trebuchet. They have zero protection for the trebuchet. Like they have no tower guards to keep them alive from my to keep them safe from my war riders now. And basically, siege weapons are only tanky versus fire arrows and arrows. But they are pretty much weak against. I mean, they're also not very bad against. So if you did, smash the like button, subscribe for more content like this in the future. I will see you next time. Until then, take care of yourself. Keep hitting like a truck, and as always, stay beyond standards. Peace out, boys.